hello, it's Anne here from Domesticity. Just about ready to pick up my online order for this next fortnight. Uh, just the usual stocking up on fresh fruit and vegetables and some meat and a couple of um, pantry items to keep the pantry levels um, steady so that I have plenty of ingredients to create a wide variety of meals. Find out what I buy on the next slide. Bye. So I'm back from the grocery store with my fortnightly order and just about to show you what I bought today. A couple of um, fruit and vegetable fresh produce items were on special. I still have a bit of frozen fruit left and fruit in the refrigerator but the children haven't been eating it so um, uh, it's just going to waste. So I didn't bother with anything um, too much this fortnight but if... Um, it gets eaten this coming week. I'll buy. I'll top up some more fruit next week. But uh, this is what I got. I got um, two large sweet potato, half a small pumpkin, uh, three kilos of potatoes that were on special. Um, my usual cos lettuce or baby gem lettuce, two red capsicum and one small um, cucumber, a red onion, five zucchini. Uh, they had these cherry tomatoes on special, uh, two for five dollars. Then I just got some items for the pantry. I um, I don't mind baked beans, and I think they're good for easy night meals. So I got a value pack of three of them. Stocking up with uh, chopped tomatoes, red kidney beans, and canned lentils. Um, I just got imitation vanilla essence um, it's only a dollar something compared to the vanilla extract of eleven dollars so the next time I've got a little bit of room to move in the budget I'll get go back to getting my usual vanilla extract I think I do have a vanilla bean in my pantry if I need it so um, my usual stock powders which I ran out of they're only two dollars this week beef and chicken stock powder I find they're the most economical ways to um, get stock Two kilos of self-raising flour, a kilo of carrots, a packet of pasta. I've got some spaghetti still left, so um, I just thought I'd get some shaped pasta just for a change and to keep the pantry stocked up. Some frozen beans. We had fresh beans last week and they were quite nice, so um, I got the frozen beans, which will last a bit longer. Just a kilo of rice. Uh, just to keep things stocked up some dried apricots for school lunches and snacks and then these this rice cracker mix that my son likes for school lunches just some two minute noodles for my daughter um, to break up her lunches these um, three pack of Ritz are quite good value and everyone likes them they're good for school lunches and for snacks two packets of rice cakes some frozen Crinkle cut chips just for easy meals, mixed veggies, um, a packet of stir fry veggies. This is a really good mix, um, I find, for stir fries. And I think it's only about $2. So um, I can get two meals out of them, and they're quite a good mix. Then I got um, butter for baking, butter for spreading. I got I couldn't get my bread online, they had run out, so I just picked that up this morning. So that won't be on my receipt. That was they were $1.60 each, so there's an additional $3.20 to this order, but I'll put that on all the details in the next slide. My usual kilo of cheese, cream cheese, frozen fish fillets. Uh, I do have a little bit of meat left, but just stocking up with things that the kids eat, sausages. Uh, chicken breast fillets and beef mince so I think it was about $126 this fortnight so that's um, a little bit less than um, what I normally spend trying to stick around the $130 uh, limit for my $150 budget because I like to have that little bit of a buffer to just get the top-ups as required in the second week of my shop because inevitably we run out of bread and milk so ten or twenty dollars just left over from the budget helps with that or a little bit of fruit or bread rolls or 
something else that we might need. So I've got a, a good $20, I think, left to top up with anything next week. Everything else is fine. Toilet paper, laundry powder, toiletries. They're all going really well, so I don't need any of that stuff. So check the next slide for the exact totals of my order and um, see how much I spent. Thank you.